hey guys good morning okay so today is Wednesday and I it's like 9 something in the morning um, I have my appointment at 10 30 to get my lips done I really didn't want to do any makeup or anything just because I feel like I mean there's no point I put a little bit of powder on my face and if you see this right here um, it's because I got my eyebrows done yesterday and basically they pulled like a little bit of skin off But it was my fault because I've been using like retina a or whatever. So anyway, so I am going today at 10 30 I have to take a uber because um, my husband he has to go to work. So basically I will be oh, Going by myself. I'm excited and I'm nervous because I don't know what um, what I know, I mean, I've watched many vlogs on this and I've watched them do it. So I'm not too scared or too nervous, but I don't know. It's just like with anything you're going into, you get a little bit nervous, like anything could go wrong. But I mean, I'm pretty sure everything is fine. It's a reputable place. Fortunately, they won't let me film. I wanted to film for you guys, um, but they won't, which is so weird because you would think that they would want like exposure for their company. Um, it's Ideal Image. Um, it's here in Brandon. They actually have a few in Florida, more than a few. They have a bunch of them all over the place. They do like um, cool sculpting, um, hair removal, uh, laser hair removal. They do so many things there. So, it, you know, it's a really good place. And I did look at the reviews. So, yeah, so it's about nine something. And like I said, I'm a little nervous. Um, but I think I'll be okay. I don't know what to expect, to be honest with you. I mean, my lips are full already, so I want you guys to understand that the reason why I'm doing this is because I feel like uh, this goes a little bit down here on my lips. Like, my bottom lip is a little bit fuller, and this goes down. Um, I feel like as you get older, that happens. So I felt like if I didn't do it, that I would kind of regret it. Now, if I don't like it, I don't have to do it again. They did tell me that it lasts from nine to 12 months which i thought was really good that was a really good deal because not like botox like botox lasts usually like three to four months not saying i would ever not do botox i would probably do botox also but later on maybe in life because i think right here the little uh, lines there are the small lines that's it i feel like honestly like if you want to do whatever you want to do to your body to make you feel better then hey then go for it i mean i would never go as far as like changing my whole like you know face or anything that's like i think that's like going overboard there is a such thing as going overboard and doing way too much because you just you want to look natural you want to look naturally pretty but you don't want to look overly done up either so um yeah so i hope my lips i don't know if they'll look natural but i want them to i know today they'll be swollen i'm expecting that but um i'm hoping they go down tomorrow because i do have to go to work tomorrow so and it's gonna be funny how i wish i could take you guys with me to see everybody's expression on their face because maybe oh get my phone oh, when people know that you are oh, this is my mom hold on this is my mom I gotta get this hello hey what are you doing yeah I was in the shower no no yeah I was in the shower hold on mom one second Guys, I'm just going to take this call and I will get right back to you in a second. Okay, guys, so I am going in. My appointment is in five minutes. I'm extremely, like, nervous. Like, I feel like I have to poop and I feel like I have such anxiety. I know that's like TMI, but, you know, when you're nervous and you feel like you have to take a poop. But <laughs> anyway, I am nervous, but I know everything will be okay. All right, see you guys afterwards. So guys, I'm totally done. Um, my lips are a little swollen right now. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was so weird. Like it feels like I have like pink pillows on my lips or I don't know. It feels like pillows on my lips, but um, I don't know. I like it. So I'm really excited because I feel like the girl I went to, she did such a good job with me too. Like she talked me through it. She told me everything that was happening. She let me look in the mirror, you know, do certain things because I'm very uneven here and she fixed that. So I don't know. So they did a great job. So 
I guess I will tell you guys what's going on later. I'm gonna jump in this Uber and head home and um, I'll show you guys how I look later on. Hey guys, so it's actually about 4.19 and I wanna try to bring you guys into the light, but it's 4.19, I'm sitting by the window right now. I'm sorry, look, I, I look a hot mess right now, but I wanted to let you guys know about my lips. Um, I am seeing bruising right here, but they told me I was gonna be bruising there and then um, I feel like they're just a little bit more puffy than before like especially at the bottom I think but that's what she said was going to happen so it's something that I did expect okay so those of you really kind of like contemplating on getting lip injections I feel like um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be I know I mentioned that before but I just feel like I made myself so nervous about it and really honestly after they put the numbing cream on you really don't feel anything I think it was the second session because they only used one syringe on me where is I felt like the numbing was going away and this side of my mouth started bleeding and I it actually hurt like when she hit the cupid's bow it hurt and I squinted a little bit and I think like I started tearing up but that's it the pain level is like one let's see one to ten I think probably a four if that like it wasn't you couldn't even hardly feel it once the numbing of the mouth happens you can't feel it and it only stays numb for about maybe 15 minutes to half an hour so it's not numb now but I can feel like there's a there's a bump there's a bump right here and I could feel that but she told me that's going to be like where the injection sites are uh, just because uh, it might be like that but I feel this one a lot more here but like I said this area of my mouth bled a lot more than here I feel like this side was like a trooper and this side was like I don't know I don't know what was going on but I was bleeding from this side and it was hurting the most here on this side so maybe I'm more sensitive or maybe I have more nerves on that side um, so I want to see how it goes I have to go to work tomorrow regardless of how I wake up um, she said the next day I would be swollen more than I am now and this is like really swollen to me like I feel like uh, yeah I just feel like I'm all lips like that's all you see on my face but hopefully tomorrow when I do my makeup it won't look as bad and it will go down a little bit so yeah so I'm happy right now um, and I'm just hoping that they go down which I think they will it's just a process you have to do a process that happens like when you elect to do these um, procedures or treatments or whatever it's just a process that happens so Madison just came here and joined us right now she just got out of the shower so um, yeah I think like um, honestly for all you guys asking me on my snapchat like it was not that bad and to be honest I want to see how it looks like in the next couple of days because that's when I know if I'll do it again but um, for right now I'm still like you know it's just been day one so I have to see how it looks so I will get checked back with you guys tomorrow in the morning before work and let you guys know what is going on or maybe even tonight and let you guys know what's going on because yeah, actually probably on my way to work tomorrow because that's when I'll have time to talk because like a 45 minute drive. Um, hopefully I don't look like a freaking clown going to work and everybody's going to be like, oh my God, what's wrong with you? Because I hate when I have attention on me. I don't like it at all. But anyway, okay guys, so I will talk to you guys later. Okay guys, so I just got out the shower and it is now 8 30 and my lips are more swollen than earlier um i know i mean i expected this so it's not like it's unexpected i'm sorry if i look greasy i just put on my moisturizer but um skyla's watching general hospital i'm sorry about that let me you know what actually let me go into the other room so you guys can hear me better uh, okay oh much better oh i look like a hot mess too okay so all right, let me fix myself up here. Yeah, I look like a mess. Sorry about the laundry. I was just finished folding laundry there. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it's 8.30 and they got a lot more swollen. They do hurt also. Um, I mean, if I'm saying not really painful, but just kind of like a little bit, just sensitive to touch and stuff like that. Like I know right now it look, I know right now I look totally ridiculous because they're so puffy, but I have, 
um, the Aquaphor on my lips because I feel like they keep getting dry because I keep putting like the ice pack on it like every 20 minutes. So yeah, so I have to go to work tomorrow and the girl told me to sleep like elevated a little bit because when um, you sleep you don't want all that like fluid to go to your lips so I'm gonna try to do that as best as possible um, yeah but I just wanted to come and check in with you guys so I can show you how they look and they are huge right now <laughs> it's like they are so big and it's weird looking my husband didn't even want to kiss me he was like oh but I told him that they're gonna go down so I just wanted to let you guys know like what's going on like it's 8 30 and they do get a little bit more swollen throughout the day if you guys noticed earlier that they weren't as swollen as they are now like this is swollen to me I just hope they don't get any bigger than this because I'm gonna look like a fool at work tomorrow and I really don't want to have to explain like anything to anybody but um yeah anyway so i'm going to i think i'm gonna come back in the morning with you guys and talk to you guys like um and let you know hopefully it doesn't look like this um hopefully it's it better so we'll see and yeah so that's all i have to say i guess and i will talk to you guys tomorrow morning bye guys Going down because yesterday they were bigger, I know that for sure. Um, and 
drugs and the next day they were like, oh yeah, the lip injections, they're fine. I'm, that's not the way it goes. Like, it's not, that's not realistic. I have bruising here on my lip. Obviously, you don't see it because I have makeup on. I have bruising on my lip, just on the bottom, but it's not bad. But this side is a little bit more. I don't have anything on the top. It's more on the bottom lip, which I feel like the bottom hurt a little bit more than the top did. So maybe I'm a little bit more sensitive there. And I think she was telling me that we have more nerves in the bottom lip. So maybe that's why. That could be why. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to come and let you guys see how my lips look right now. And like I said, they are going down. So um, my husband said I talk funny now. But I don't think I'm talking funny at all. But he says, because when he looks at me, I think he's just staring at my lips because they're so big. Right? A little bit. A little bit? A little bit. But, so anyway, so that's it. Like I said, day three, and we'll see. Hey guys, so I will talk to you guys later. Okay guys, I'm going to show you me and Madison's hair. Let me show you Madison's hair. Let me show them. Mama. Turn it around. How pretty. And then... Minds, we're twins today. So anyway, guys. So um, this is day four of the lip injections, and I definitely see an improvement. Oh, let me wipe off my screen. I definitely see an improvement um, with the lips. I definitely see the bruising going down, the little bumps going down, and they're such a nicer shape right now. I feel like this is exactly what I want. I know I have like probably one more day because she said about five days, and you'll see the real results. But I think basically that this is how they are going to look because she's just said five days and today's the fourth day so I'm pretty sure that um, they've gone down a lot like I said even the bumps inside have gone down and the bruising has gone down probably will do it again because I love it I'm getting like so many compliments in my job everybody loves it I have people even asking me where I went and they want to do it now so yeah what's up everybody I, I think it's an amazing job that they did on her lips however let me get this camera right on me a little bit just let's get that right there. So what I'm thinking about, you see this? I think I have full lips, but I think I'm gonna work on my Cupid's ball because me Cupid's ball. Cupid's ball. It's Cupid's bow. Oh, I thought it was a Cupid's bowl. <laughs> so we're gonna go Cupid's bow. It's Cupid's ball. Of course, he has to be all extra um, about his Cupid's bowl. You thought it was a bowl? I thought you said Cupid's bowl. Is that Cupid's bow? Well, that makes sense because Cupid has a bow. Cupid's bow. Right, now this it makes sense. This is a Cupid's bow. Well, when you're a guy and you don't know anything about makeup, that's what we say, Cupid's bow. Wait, anyway, guys, so I will see you guys tonight, like I said, to see how um, you're going to see like a little bit of bruising on my lips and things like that. But it's so much better than a couple of days ago. And then, yeah, so I'm on my way to work right now, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. Okay guys, so we skipped day five only because I felt like there was no need to really vlog on it because they were like really pretty much the same. But I'm noticing day six today, um, and excuse me if I look a little busted, I'm exhausted because I had to take my husband to work at 5.30 this morning. He had a business trip, so I had to drive him into the airport. So I've been up since 5.30 this morning, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, so I'm extremely exhausted exhausted so that's why I probably look like a hot mess right now but I just wanted to finish up this vlog and I wanted to let you guys know how my lips are doing now I love the way they look I love the shape of them and um, as you guys can see there's still a little bit of bruising on my lips um, right here and it's kind of still a little bit lumpy there um, the top lip is pretty much good like just right here I feel like a lump right here but the bottom lip is where I feel a lot more I think just because you have like I said a lot of nerves here but anyway all in all I think I definitely would do them again because I love it I love when I put my lipstick on I love that everything is even I love that um the fullness of the lips um but I just wanted to let you guys know that you have to be prepared for things like this. Just don't go someplace and just kind of get injections and don't think about it or don't do your research on it. I did a lot of research before I did this, so I was pretty knowledgeable about it and I pretty much knew what I was getting myself into. I just feel like for me, it was something that I wanted to do for a long time, but um, I would suggest you guys just make sure you do your research. I honestly just felt like um, next time when I do it, I just want to make 
make sure I have the following day off just because they are a little bit more swollen I mean you can do things I went to work but they were a little bit big and kind of noticeable I do feel like this is something that I will definitely do again um, but I didn't want you guys to see it and be like oh well you got lip injections they look awesome the next day it wasn't like that there's a process um, and it's something that you're putting into your lips that is foreign like just like if you were getting I'm not as bad as breast implants but you are putting a foreign object in your body so you always want to make sure you're doing your research on it they put Juvederm in my lips so I did a lot of research on that and um, yeah so just make sure that you know what you're doing I would say just to get a consultation first beforehand like I did because any questions that I had they answered for me and I looked on the reviews on this place because I wanted to make sure it was some place that was really good you guys know I went to ideal image which is really good and very respectable place there's a lot of them here in Florida I'm not sure oh excuse me guys I'm not sure basically if they have them anywhere else I mean when I was living in New York I didn't really see them too much but that was five years ago so they might be popping around a little bit more but a lot of places do them like spa places even do them as well because they're so common common now um, but you want to make sure you go to somebody that's reputable and you want to make sure they know what they're doing that's first and foremost don't just go to any place um, make sure you guys do your research but all in all I really do like them I love the way they came out I don't like the bruising and I don't like the bumpiness that I feel but it is going down so you know I just have to take it day by day it is day six so I'm figuring by like maybe day eight they're gonna be fine um, the blue right here has gone down if you guys saw before it's just a little bit um, bruised up there now it's going into like kind of red so before it was like a purple and blue and now it's like red so I did need just one syringe um, so if you have somebody who has like fuller lips like I did already um, not as full like as this of course but I did have fuller lips before and they just told me I just needed one syringe one syringe was more than enough because they use like such a tiny tiny bit on each part of your lip it's not like they're putting in a whole syringe in one part of the lip um, now I think if you have like hardly any lips you'll probably need like another syringe um, which I think costs because I think you're paying per syringe as far as I know I'm gonna list um, the place where I went ideal image down below um, so if you guys want to check out their website you guys can you guys can call them and ask for a consultation things like that um, like I said I know there's other places that do it but I don't know of them I just know the ideal image was really really good um, the lady was excellent when I about that guys my battery died I had to go pick up the girls and I have no idea what I was saying before but just all in all I feel like it was um, a great experience I will do it again just encourage you guys to just read up on it and just to make sure you know what you're getting into it's like anything you put in your body that's foreign you can get complications so I just want you guys to be aware of that but like I said I probably will do it again I'm happy with it I'm just waiting for the swelling to go down like right here a little bit and um, that's it so guys I hope you guys enjoyed this lip injection vlog I don't know what I'm calling it I guess lip injection vlog I don't know um, but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I know it was a little different than most of my videos but I had to take you guys on like this six day journey with me and how the lip injections look afterwards because you guys can see um, somebody get lip injections and the next day you think that they're automatically perfect but it doesn't go like that I put the place where I went down below for you guys if you guys want to check them out and um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys